What's up, family? It is Tara Chantel, the self-love advocate, the spiritual activist, and a child-free, liberated human being, baby. I am so excited to talk to you today because let's talk about these baby daddies, honey. So happy I don't got one. I don't want one. And I want to tell you why child-free women should never, never, ever, ever date a baby daddy. Do you understand what that comes with and what that entails? If you don't, allow me to tell you. I have listed 10 things why child-free women should never, never, ever, 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 ever date a baby daddy. And I just named 10, but trust me, there's a ton. There's a ton, honey. It was at my neck because I made this post of just giving child-free women advice on why we should not entertain, date a baby daddy. We should run far away. We should stay away. And I'm not saying we shouldn't be friends. That's all we should be is friends. You is the homie, baby, but you off limits. Because do you understand what you come with? All the problems that you had. So let's just start with number one. Number one, baby daddy drama, problems and issues. We ain't even on the same frequency, baby. We ain't even on the same frequency. You have a role called baby daddy. You ain't the husband. You is baby daddy. That baby daddy frequency, I can't relate to. I don't have those problems. I don't have those issues. I have been responsible. So I feel as though when you are a responsible woman, a responsible individual, now you're going to attract what you are as a responsible human being. I cannot relate to the irresponsible decision making that most people are making when it comes to sex. They out here just putting a seed in just anybody. Your seed is just not precious to you. It's just the careless act that we cannot relate to. And now on top of this, you don't even like the woman you are having a child with. So it's just going to be drama, honey. It's going to be chaos. And you know, I choose peace, baby. I choose peace and I believe in sisterhood above, above all of it. I wouldn't want to do anything to others that I wouldn't want done to me. And when you see I just carried this child, could have possibly died, and now he just gonna up and leave me with some girl, I don't vibe with that. And I wouldn't want that done to me because I understand the connection and the bond that that has even though these baby daddies is out here being reckless with their seed and just putting their dick inside everybody I view sex so much more I view it as procreation and not recreation so this baby daddy frequency that everybody just normalizing I'm not with it I'm not with normalizing foolish behavior. This is careless and we got to do better, honey. We got to do better. Number two is honestly, you're a rebound as a child free woman because these brothers, these men don't be healing. They do not be healing. They just be dealing. So they find the next person that they can get distracted by so they can fantasize over because they don't want to deal with the hurt. They don't want to deal with coping their issues and the pain they cause these women and the pain that they cause themselves. So now they're just using you, this child free, beautiful woman to distract them as their rebound. So now you about to play therapist, you about to play life coach, you about to play masseuse, you about to play prostitute, you about to play all these roles for him because this is a distraction people used to going in and out of relationships and not taking time to heal. These men have to heal before they deal. So you have to allow people to give them time. This baby just came out of this woman five months ago and you mean to tell me you want somebody else? No, 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 baby, no, no, no. 
and that's moving on to number three. He's gonna impregnate you next. Okay. These reckless baby daddies are just impregnating other innocent standbyers. So you're an innocent standbyer. He's already contaminated, right? These baby daddies be contaminated when you just stick in your penis inside everybody. So now he about to contaminate you, get all that drama onto you, all that dust onto you, all of that connection and energy all into you and contaminate your poor soul. And now your temple is gonna be trash because you're letting thieves in. And now you are gonna be impregnate next. It's not a coincidence that it's like all of these women get pregnant by the same dude because he wants to trap you. He wants to trap you. He wants you to stay there, belong to him, and have you stuck because they know if you're contaminated by him, other people don't want them germs that this brother got, honey. Honey, honey, honey. Moving on to the next one. Number four, you're gonna have to share your man. You're gonna have to share, baby. So y'all gonna have to believe in sisterhood and equality. You can't be fighting that. You gotta be loving each other. You're gonna have to have a big heart because you're gonna have to share your person. You're gonna have to share that dick. And you know what? I don't got it in me to try to fight for some love, to try to fight for a place in your life, to try to earn some love, to try to prove that I love you. I don't got it in me, honey. But if you want a baby daddy, get ready to do backflips. Get ready to show your creativity. Get ready to give gifts because you are fighting for a place in this brother's life. You is fighting for some love, honey. <laughs> Number five, the lack of self-control, the lack of dick discipline that a baby daddy has that he is just impregnating all these women. He is just putting his raw meat inside of everybody is honestly disturbing to say the most and honestly frightening because it's so much that can go into this. STDs is rapid out here. I'm in Atlanta, baby. It is rapid. It is on fire. No wonder why everybody's down there is on fire because nobody is caring. Nobody has discipline and nobody has self-control. So why do you have to suffer as a child-free woman because of this baby daddy? No, no, no. That don't sound right to me. That don't that don't sound right to me. That don't sound right. That don't act right. Mm -mm. Moving on to the next one. You know, I forgot what number we on, but we just gonna keep vibing, okay? The next one is soul ties and soul connection. Yes, everybody is normalizing this physical act of sex and just being reckless with it, just doing it after the club, doing it when they drunk, doing it in the car, doing it in nature, just doing it anywhere because they bored and they got time on their hands. But I'm telling you, when you are a productive human, you understand you got better things to do, okay? Because the impact of soul ties that you have just transferring this energy is one thing, but then imagine bringing a whole human in here. We ain't even get to the little human yet. We just get into the behavior of the baby daddy. Let's not even talk about what having a kid is really like. People wanna say it's a blessing. It is hard. It is hard having a child. They don't want to tell you that you don't sleep, that you don't eat, that you don't live for yourself anymore. They don't want to tell you that. But let me tell you that your life is over. <laughs> so the whole soul tie connection with a child is just so much deeper. And now they're triggered more. They're angry that's why they got all these problems all these dramas because this connection and this bond that they have in bringing another human into this world is real and it's very intense let's go to the next one you as a child free woman entertaining a baby daddy dating a baby daddy being in a relationship with a baby daddy you are just a new face same case 
like I said before, you're going to be the next person that he impregnates because he is seeking some type of void. He's seeking some type of validation. He wants a family because maybe he didn't have a family growing up. So he's searching for that fulfillment. And now he's going to be like, okay, it didn't work with her. So I guess it got to work with you, right? But it's not that because he is the problem. It would have worked with the first baby mama, but he has not dealt with his issues and his healing. So now until we learn our lessons, it's just going to be a new phase, but the same case. So we have to learn our lessons of why we are here. There's no need to just constantly get into different relationships after relationships. You have to be in a relationship with yourself. Once you are in a relationship with yourself, you are going to have healthy relationship with other people. It's no more pointing out. You're going to be pointing in because nobody is ever the problem. We be the problem on our own life and our own issues while we're easily triggered. And the next one, family. These holidays is real, okay? Since you about to be sharing your dude, your baby daddy, you can't be with him on the holidays because guess what? He belongs to a family. Christmas and all these holidays that they made up, those first priority is the kid. The kid is the first priority in the baby daddy's life. So you are second place or maybe the last place overall, honey. I don't got it in me to be nobody's last place option, okay? And then you also have to think about that all of his money has to go to this child, to the mother, and also, let's not say if he's on child support too so you know how some people just after people's for their money what if all his money got to go to the kid it ain't even going to you so now y'all just gonna be getting burger king mcdonald's all the time because he don't got no money and he got to give it to the kids okay we have to think about all of this as being a child free woman you don't got no problem you don't got no baggage you gotta carry on and you got your purse this brother got a whole suitcase a whole luggage a whole car seat and you gotta help him carry that because he has not taken the time to even release the baggage that he has. You don't got no baggage. You don't got no issues. You don't got no crazy ex. You don't got no baby daddy. So why would you even put yourself in a situation with all that chaos? It got to be deeper than love. You got to choose a peace of mind. I believe baby daddies belong with women that has kids. Okay. They belong together. They should be a whole Brady Bunch. But women, as a child-free woman, it is 6 billion people out here that doesn't have kids as well. You got to get on the frequency with those people. You have to think abundantly. We have to get out of the scarcity mentality, the scarcity mindset that it's not enough out here. It's only baby daddies out here. It's only men with kids out here. It's only this. So I got to settle. You don't ever have to settle, honey. You don't ever have to share nobody. You don't ever have to put up with garbage. You don't ever have to put up with disrespect. You don't ever have to put up with none of that. And you don't have to do nothing nothing you don't want to do remember that own that and trust that baby i appreciate you family so much you know we lost count because it's just so many and i'm just like so intrigued by this whole conversation and the baby daddies was so mad at me when i made this awareness that sus Let's keep them baby daddies where they at, at home. Send them back. Don't date them. He got problems. He got issues. We don't even need that energy. We don't even need that around us. We should value sisterhood and actually want to cheer our sisters on with the hardship that they got to deal with that. Okay. That's already enough itself. A whole baby daddy. And then on top of that, now the baby daddy got a little side piece, a little child free woman running around here that he's just going to do the same thing he did to her is to you. So you have to watch how people treat other people because it's just a matter of time. He treats you the way he's treating others. I love you family. Please hit that subscribe button. Let me know 
how you feel about dating people with kids and how that go because mm -mm -mm, that ain't for me. 